Hi everybody, my name is Shayla with BrandChamp, a brand ambassador marketing software. We help you manage your brand ambassadors in a seamless and efficient way. Last video I talked about how to find your ideal brand champ. This video I'm going to talk about once you've found your micro influencers or your social media influencers, how do you decide if you want to reach out to them to be an ambassador? So I'm going to give you five things to look for. First thing is their following. The sweet spot for a following is between five and 35,000 followers. Above 35, the influence starts to trickle a little bit. So make sure that you're looking for that. It, obviously, if you can get an influencer for more, take them, but really nurture your five to 35,000. Second thing is you wanna look at their engagement. I would recommend going on a computer screen, pulling up their Instagram, and then just hovering over their photos, making sure that the like percentage to their following is between three and five percent and then they get around 10 comments on each photo. This would be a really good engaging account that you would want to consider to be an ambassador. Third thing is do they jive with your brand? Can you see your product seamlessly going into this person's photos on their account? For example, if you're a yoga pants company, do they do yoga in their photos? If you're a swimsuit company, you might not want to choose the person who's hiking through the mountains in their snowsuit. You might want to choose the girl or guy who lives in Hawaii and is always taking pictures on the beach. The easier that your product can fit in with their lifestyle, the more they're going to post about it and the more they're going to enjoy your product and share it. The fourth thing that you want to look for is content creation. Brand ambassadors are great content creators. It's a good exchange. You give them product. And sometimes you pay them and then they give you the photos that you can then repost. So as you're looking at the influencers page, think about are these photos post are these photos one that I would repost on my brand's Instagram account? And if it is, then that's a really good indication that that's someone that you should reach out to. The fifth thing is don't disregard people just because their social media following is down. Also consider their real life following. So maybe they're leading yoga retreats or they're leading yoga festivals. Those are people that you would still want to bring on board because real life counts too and sometimes it's more authentic to be with someone and having them use your product or wearing your product and people ask them, oh where is that and then they can talk about it. And a bonus tip is if they have, if you can work with an influencer that has a blog or a review site, these are really good because people go to these accounts looking for information about the best protein or the best whatever your product is and so they can review your product and they're knowledgeable about all of the other products that are like it and they can talk about how they can talk about the taste or the smell or the how their body feels and they can compare it and give people really good reviews so also look for the bloggers and the review sites because they can be very beneficial for you as well if you have any more questions or you're curious about brandchamp please go to brandchamp.io and send us a message thank you